After our cold and snowy winter, your deck might not be looking the best. And now comes the hot summer. It's not going to look much better then either. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple decks and the problems that happen. First of all, this is a typical deck. Who knows what really what the finish looks like, but look what's under the deck. The rain runs right through it. The space underneath is really unusable. Then there's this one that looked great at one time. It was tiled, but then it started having problems. It wasn't waterproof properly, and it started leaking. And then this one had some kind of sealant cover on it, but it wasn't really designed to be walked on. You can see what happened there. That's what makes me hate decks. But Matt McClure has found what could be the solution to many of your deck problems. What's the solution here, Matt? Well, Darren, what we have here is a roofing membrane that has been rigorously tested specifically for pedestrian traffic. So what you're going to do with that deck surface is actually put a roof on it. Um, that's been approved for pedestrian traffic. You can put your patio furniture on it, what have you. Um, and think of it like putting a roof on your deck. Um, gives you great use out of it. And as you mentioned, you get dry storage underneath an exposed deck. And if you had a high deck, you actually have a whole big living area down there. This is what it is right here, right? This material right. here? Right. It, it looks almost like a, a real sturdy, durable linoleum type product. Right. Very similar to that, except it's made specifically for roofing. Be similar to what you'd find on this building here, except we make it very attractive looking yeah. so that you'd want it on your deck. Okay. Explain to me, how exactly does this get put down? Do they, they just roll it out? What happens to it, this? It's a sheet good, and it's what we call a single ply system. So it, it is um, put over plywood or concrete. Um, this is this is Craig Beckstrom you see here doing it. He's laying it right over plywood. He's gluing it down to the surface, pushes it out. He has a little scraper there. He pushes it out to the edge and that's all he's going to do there for that sheet. It's going to be adhered now um, to that sheet of plywood or that piece of plywood. And as you mentioned, it's over, in this case, over like a, a living space, so it's completely safe and waterproof underneath, right? Right, which actually underneath there is that home's uh, hot water heater and furnace area, so it's got to be watertight in order yeah. to not damage that area. So um, it's fully adhered, over plywood in this case, uh, glued down, and you're done. Now that looks like a slightly smaller area, and it comes in rolls, I assume, but what happens if you have a bigger area? Do they, do they somehow make the seams overlap? Right, we're going to seam that. We're going to have a three-quarter inch seam on that, and we're going to use a hot air welder, basically a real powerful hair dryer, and we're going to fuse those two sheets of vinyl back together again with that seam. So that way they really do stay water water watertight. The, the water's going to flow over it, ice is going to form on it, but it won't damage the ability of the waterproofing. Okay, okay, so what if like snow and ice? Can you shovel? I mean, if I get this and I get a snow shovel out here, is that going to damage this? That, that's a great question. We would ask you to use a plastic shovel, <laughs> um, but you can shovel it. You can throw ice melt on it and rock salt, kitty litter, whatever you want to do to, to you know, clear that area in the wintertime, and, and it's fine. Okay, I, you got to show me some of what this looks like now in in real life and what some decks look like that okay. have this on them. Um, you, you've done this. This is actually sort of a product that's been around for a long time, but relatively new to Utah, right? Right. It, it's been around for about 34 years now, but never really marketed in Utah. There's a great example of a deck that's exposed, and now they use the space underneath there. Yeah, and this is what it looks like from the top view. It looks Correct. good. Correct. Yeah. And you can, yeah, there's the dog up on top of it as well. That's another question we get. Do dogs damage it? You know, can you, can you hurt it? And dogs can run on it and, and doesn't affect the material, so. It looks like a cool new thing, and it really then is durable for years to come, right? Right. We would expect 15 to 18 years out of one application in this climate. Okay. Great idea. And, and I have a little example here. This just shows people it's not just like cheap little linoleum. It, it adheres, it's sturdy, it's firm. Right. And Once really it goes down, it becomes very firm, but yet it moves with the substrate. So as your house settles or your deck moves, it doesn't crack. It will actually expand with the, with the surface. That's a little bit of give and take and forgiving there. Right. Matt, great. Thanks for introducing us. I know a lot of people are like me. They hate decks because all the problems go along with it. Yeah. Now it's nothing problem. Good solution to make that deck a, an area that you're actually proud of that you can go out there and use and take advantage of these great yeah. views we got. If you would like more information on on Deck Max, which is the, the name of the product and the company, there are any decking problems you might have, you can contact Matt. Their website is deckmax.com. Deck is spelled creatively without the C there, deckmax.com, and you can contact them to ask more questions as well. Of course, there's more information on our website, studio5.ksl.com. And Deck Max is one of the contractors you can find at americahometoday.com. They're helping us give an entire home a makeover, and we're in search of the perfect home in need of a makeover, so we need your help to find it. So you go to America americahometoday.com. There's the website. You click on the button there on the right for the makeover. This comes up. It lets you nominate a home. You can nominate someone who is in need of a home makeover. You scroll down and then it lets you submit. You
You have to be a member of AmericaHomeToday.com. You just have to register. It only takes a couple of seconds. It's completely free. And then you can let us know who needs a makeover. We're going to be looking for the perfect home over the spring and the summer. So get your nominations in. AmericaHomeToday.com is a great resource for all your home project needs. You can find everything from contractors to painting your home to lending institutions to refinancing and everything in between. And we're looking forward to partnering them for this fantastic home makeover. More information, of course, on our website, studio5.ksl.com.